What's up everyone, it's Troy at Area 52 with another Friday used gun drop video. We've got a stacked week this week. We're recording this on Friday, September 20th, and this video is for Friday, September 20th. That's why it's dropping late. Um, a lot of these came in on Thursday, so we had to do what we had to do. We also have a huge week next week already confirmed, so please like, share, and subscribe. Turn on our notifications. It means a lot to us. and. Uh, it will not disappoint. We're gonna get right into this and all these go out today and the video drops today. We've got a Glock 19 Gen 4, recover tactical charge and handle thing and a hood grip that you can take off if you'd like. Glock 43, another recover tactical charge and handle and night sights, really good condition. Again, hood grip, take it off if you don't like it. Got a Davis Industries chrome polished P380. These are super budget friendly, getting kind of hard to find though, especially in this condition. A lot heavier than it looks. Ruger LCP Gen 1, budget friendly. Got a Smith & Wesson Model 22S. This is like a target pistol in 22. Has the really nice target grips, um, like laminate. Top rail if you want to put an optic or a scope. Handgun scope, really good weight to it. Probably shoots extremely well and heavy barrel. We've got a Jennings J22, sort of like the Davis Industries hard to find in this condition, budget friendly, 22LR, not made anymore, and nice wood grips. Bursa 380, or Thunder 380, two-tone in really good condition also. Um, we've got a SIG P320, I think it's X-Series or X-Carry, optic ready, really nice SIG for the price. Right here we've got an m and 9 Shield, it's got the Crimson Trace integrated rail laser, it's the M2.0, does have the manual safety. It's got a Glock 45, my favorite Glock 9mm, and it does have a Streamlight TLR8, which is the light and laser, Gen 5, really good condition, comes with the box and two mags. Glock 23 Gen 5 in 40, like new condition, and we've got this Glock 27 Gen 4 in 40, um, with the finger extension plus two, and it does have an agency arms aftermarket trigger, and that's a really good trigger, 240s. All right, so a really nice one this week is the Sig Sauer P320, I think it's the Spectre Comp, and this is the custom works with the gold barrel, the compensator, and the gold trigger. These are really nice. The last one we had, this is not the same one, but it actually had the exact same sight and exact same Surefire X300 Ultra, which is a really nice light. This has the box, two extra mags, excellent condition really nice sig won't be here long and um yeah there it is really good weight to it again shoots really flat next up we got two really nice colts this week this first one is a united states property 1911 u.s army remake this is a commemorative 1911 it is made supposed to be exactly like the wartide 1911s that colt made and issued with the bluing the slide markings even the stamps um just extremely nice comes with the original box and the paperwork and even like the uh like the wax paper that the old colt came in and this one is unfired another unfired one is this 1981 series 70 colt gold cup national match this one is in 45 acp as well as the other one i just showed you um this one is made in 1981 like i said extremely hard to find in this unfired condition and comes with a replacement box it is a colt box it's a hard plastic case it's not the correct box but still nice to have got a 45 acp glock 30 gen 3 with the extended slide release and night sights we've got a charter arms santa fe sky in 38 special really lightweight smith and wesson 642-1 and 38 special airway internal hammer we've got a smith and wesson model 37 no dash also an airway older one in 38 special really good condition for its age fn 57 gen 1 57 by 28 original box and two mags we've got two polished monsters this week we've got a smith and wesson 500 magnum really good deal on this one extremely polished really clean hasn't been fired a lot and we've got a eight and three eight inch Smith & Wesson 29-4 in nickel 44 Magnum excellent condition you do not see a lot of these in 8 inch or in nickel and grips to match target hammer extremely nice will not be here long does not have the box all right moving on to the next table Ooh. 
First up on table number two of three this week is this Ruger American in 300 Blackout. Carbine link, threaded barrel, perfect for like coyote hunting or something like that. Throw a suppressor on it. Really nice setup like new. Beside that, we've got a Henry H012C in 45 Colt. Lever gun, tube fed, also like new. Next up, we've got a really nice Henry. This is a Henry Steel Wildlife in 4570. Really nice, has the gold engravings with a bear and, is that a moose? Like, I'm pretty sure that's a moose. I don't wanna say elk. I, I feel like it's not an elk, but maybe it is. I think it's a moose. But excellent condition, looks on fire to be honest and just a really nice one beside that we've got an older hnr model 58 12 gauge has a 36 inch barrel shoots three inch single shot got a remington 870 express magnum in 12 gauge all black looks like a 28 inch barrel probably and beside that we've got another remington 870 express magnum this is the national wildlife turkey federation um like commemorative or model um and has the camo furniture on that one that one looks like a maybe a 24 inch barrel i don't know we'll splice it in the video next up we've got an ithaca skb model 500 this one's also in 12 gauge and these are pretty sought after really good condition for its age and this one has a 30 inch over and under 12 gauge barrel will not be here long Next up, we've got a Panzer Arms AR-12, really good condition, flip up sights, takes 1919 mags, and really good deal on that tactical shotgun. Table three of three. Next up on table three of three this week, really excited about this one. We've got a SIG MPX in nine mil, and this thing is just pretty much decked out from the jump. We've got a side fold in 1913 brace and Radian ambidextrous charging handle, carbon fiber handguard, which is pretty sick. I haven't seen that before in the shop. Um, couple mags, they've got the Terran Tactical mag base extension. It does have a Timney trigger as well, which is really nice and not cheap. And it already has a rugged tri-lug QD mount slash brake so it's suppressor ready and it honestly needs a suppressor really nice will not be here long only thing i might would do if this was mine is put the collapse embrace on it which we have in stock instead of the side folding it just looks a lot better i feel like the mpx was meant for that but i'm not going to complain with this one really nice and that um handguard is a lancer handguard really sick beside that we've got an arenko mac 90 sporter this thing is in excellent condition this one is a straight cut receiver a lot of people know what that means if you don't know what it means it's a straight cut it can take a regular ak stock and a regular ak grip which for me that's exactly what i would do with this then it's basically a narenko type 56 that just needs to be threaded a lot of them are slant cut you can't tell unless you take this off this one is a straight cut and it is full numbers matching next next we've got a narenko sks in 762 by 39 that has had some tapco furniture added to it which i'm not the biggest fan of but it's still a good shooter it's also numbers matching a really cool one this week is this sega 410 this is basically an ak 410 russian sega imported by arsenal and this one has been fully converted if you've ever seen one of these they usually have a lot of stuff that doesn't look like an ak it kind of just looks like a weird 410 tactical shotgun this one's been converted 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 and it is ready to go it comes with multiple mags and a Sega 410 drum. None of that is cheap and um, does come with the original Russian mag as well. And this thing is just sick. And it is one badass semi-auto 410 that is really hard to find. Next, another super rare rifle this week is the Springfield M1A. And the rare thing about this one is it has a serial number under 1,000. The serial numbers that are under 1,000 were made by a guy named Elmer in Divine, Texas. And you can tell by the barrel stamp that he made it and that it hasn't been rebarreled since. A lot of those were used for competition and had the barrel swap or have a terrible bore. This one has a really good bore and still has the original barrel. It is in excellent condition for its age and these are highly sought after. It will not be here long and to have one that has a serial number under a thousand that was made by him 
is just incredible, especially in this condition. Just think that is just so awesome. Next, we've got a Ruger 1022. Has the same style laminate stock as that Smith & Wesson 22S target grip um, from earlier in the video. Stainless receiver and barrel does have the uh, side-by-side -side 25 round mag. So you take that one out and you flip it around. And um, just really good condition for that one. Really good target shooting 22 rifle. Last this week, saved the most boring for last. CVA Wolf in 50 cal black powder. Black powder season's coming in. Any of these that we get are really, really good deals. There's one for you, already got the scope rings too. That's gonna do it for this week's video. Like I said, all these go out Friday, September the 20th. We have a stacked week next week, so please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. You can get in touch with us any way you'd like in the description below, just check it and it tells you everything you need to know. We ship to FFLs. We're open 11 to seven, Monday through Friday, 10 to five on Saturday. Until next week, we're out. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. All right.